everyone, and welcome to High Level Listening's Intermediate Vocabulary class. I'll be your teacher, cat or cat teacher, and I'm your American English teacher here at High Level Listening. Today's Intermediate Vocabulary class will be talking about your phone. So let's talk a little bit about the vocabulary that we use when we're using our phones, and let's go ahead and get started. So we learn lots of words in textbooks. 20 years ago, you might have seen the word smartphone, cell phone, mobile? Which one do we normally use? Well, in all honesty, this is my phone. Yes, it is a smartphone, but we almost always simply call it my phone. The word mobile you will hear more often in the UK, so this is British English, and phone, cell phone, my cell, my phone, this is the most common that you'll hear in the United States. So if you're wondering what to call this thing, my phone, my phone, make it easy on yourself. Hey, have you seen my phone? Hey, have you seen my phone? Oh, your phone's on the table. Your phone's on the table. So I'm looking for my phone. I think I say this sentence at least two or three times a day. Uh, honey, have you seen my phone? I think I lost my phone. Have you seen it? Have you seen my phone? Your phone's on the table. Your phone's in your purse. Your phone's in the bathroom. Your phone's in the kitchen. <laughs> so we simply use the word phone. And if we lose it, have you seen my phone? Have you seen my phone? <laughs> now, sometimes early in the morning, when we just wake up, <sighs> we will grab our phone and check it, check it. So I check my phone. I open the phone. I look at my phone. I'm checking my phone, checking my phone. So I'm checking my phone right now. I'm checking my messages. I'm checking my email. I'm checking my social media. I'm checking my phone. Now, usually we are checking our phone because we saw some notifications. Notifications. Notifications are the little messages on the front of your phone that tell you about information that you missed. A new message a new call, a new alert. These are notifications. A new email, a new, um, an, a new update. These are notifications, notifications. Now, if I look at my phone, I can see a little notification here. See the little one? That means something new is happening on this app a notification. If someone calls you, ring, 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 and you don't answer, then you might get a notification on your phone for a missed call. A missed call. Oh my gosh, I have two missed calls. Let me call them back. Hey, sorry I missed your call. Everything okay? So we've got notifications and missed calls, missed calls. One sec, just uh, let me check my phone. Ugh, oh my gosh, five notifications. One moment, let me just read through these. Notifications can be important. So if you have lots of notifications, messages, missed calls, Sorry, uh, let me just 
read through these notifications. Okay. Okay. My mom called. Oh, it's okay. Just two new messages. It's okay. One email. Not very important. Okay. Whew. Not too important. So one sec. One sec means hold on. Please wait. One second. One second. Uh, one sec. Just uh, let me check my phone. Oh, I just got a notification. This is my cat. This is my cat. I just got a notification. So I checked my phone and I got a notification. I got a new email. Okay. So, oh, just sorry. Let me just read through this email. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. It's not important. Okay, good. So let's continue. One sec. Just let me check my phone. Oh my gosh, five notifications. <laughs> let me just go through these. Let me just read through these. Now, if I go through something or read through something, I just, okay, it's not important. Or, oh, this is very important. Uh, let me call my mother back or let me call my friend back or let me respond to this email. I just prefer to turn off all work notifications when I'm at home. I just prefer to turn off all work notifications when I'm at home. Now we can turn on our notifications and turn them off. Turn notifications on. Turn notifications off. Turn them on. Turn them off. I just prefer to turn off all work notifications. Notifications are the little messages that you receive on the front of your phone. I just prefer to turn them all off when I'm at home. When I'm at home. So during the time I'm at home, while I'm at home, when I'm at home. No notifications for me, please. No work notifications. I just prefer to turn off all work notifications when I'm at home. You have three missed calls from your mom. You should call her back. Uh, you have three missed calls from your mom. You should call her back. So if someone calls me and I did not answer, I did not pick up. I missed their call. Hey, sorry I missed your call. Everything okay? I missed their call. So I get a notification, one missed call. Well, I have three missed calls from my mom. Oh my God, mom, three missed calls. I need to call her back. We don't say call her again. We don't say, we can say I need to call her. But if she calls me, I call her back. Hey, mom, just calling you back. I saw I had three missed calls. Everything okay? You have three missed calls from your mom. You should call her back. You should call her back. Our favorite thing to do on our phones scroll, scroll. So if I am on my phone and I'm on TikTok, I scroll through my phone. This is when we use our finger to go up and down the page. Scroll, scroll. Now you can use a mouse to scroll up and down on your computer and we use the same verb, scroll. Sometimes I just want to sit and scroll on my phone. I like to scroll through videos. Hmm, what does it say at the bottom? Scroll down a little. So we can scroll down and scroll up. Hmm, what does it say at the bottom here? Scroll down a little. Scroll down a little bit. What does it say at the top? Scroll, scroll up, scroll up. Scroll up, scroll down. 
My daughter spends all day scrolling through videos on Instagram. We are scrolling through videos. My daughter spends all day scrolling through videos on Instagram. Now, sometimes you use your pointer finger. Sometimes you use your thumb. My thumb is so tired of scrolling. I use my other finger. <laughs> So my daughter spends all day scrolling through videos and pictures, scrolling through pictures on Instagram. So we scroll through items on an app. I spent all day scrolling through recipes on my recipe app. I spent all day scrolling through pictures on Facebook on TikTok, on Instagram. My daughter spends all day scrolling through videos on Instagram. So we have another good verb, but it's a little confusing. Which one do we normally use? Do we text someone? Do we SMS someone? Do we message someone? What's the difference between text and message? So let's start with text. Text is usually sending a message between two people's phones. My phone number can text your phone number. SMS is a very old word. We don't usually use it anymore in English. SMS, I can't even, I can't even remember what it means. It means sending a text. So we don't use the word SMS very often anymore. What's becoming the most common is the word message. A text message is getting shorter. We are messaging our friends. Messaging is becoming the word of choice over and over. The reason is because we message on apps. Message me on Facebook. Message me on Instagram. Message me on TikTok. We can text each other, but it's becoming more common to message each other. So you can say to your friend, hey, text me. This is my phone number. Text me. Text me. If we send a text to each other, I have your phone number, you have my phone number, I can send you a text. I can send you a text. Hey, text me. Here's my number, text me. Here's my number, call me. But when we message each other, we can message each other on a platform. Hey, message me on Facebook, here's my name. Add me on Facebook. Message me on Facebook. What are some other messaging apps? WhatsApp. Message me on WhatsApp. Message me on Telegram. Message me on WeChat. All of these ones, we prefer to use the word message. Send me a text. Send me a message. So we can use text as a noun and a verb. Send me a text, text me. Send me a message, a noun. Send me a message, message me. Send me a text tomorrow. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Text me tomorrow. Message me on WhatsApp. So here's a good verb that we like to use. With our phones, uh, excuse me, with our computers, we use the word click, okay? Click on this, click on that. But on our phones, we usually use the word tap. And to tap is to touch very quickly. Tap, tap, tap. We also use the word touch, but I think more often we use the word tap. Now, here we have a few items we can tap. 
all of the apps on your phone, WhatsApp, PayPal, WeChat, Gmail, Pinterest, these are all apps and we say apps. I think some of my friends sometimes say APPS, we say apps, short for applications or programs on your computer, apps. We've got lots of different apps on our phones. What's the difference between an app and an icon? An icon is the picture. The app is the program. So we have some apps. The icon for PayPal is a P. The icon for WhatsApp is a message and a call button. The icon for Messenger is a colorful chat icon. So the icon is the picture and the app is the program. Tap the phone icon. Now you can make a call. Okay, so if I tap the phone icon, ah, okay, now you can make a call. Tap the phone icon. Now you can make a call. So now tap the settings option, tap the settings button, tap the settings app, and turn Wi-Fi on. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. Tap the settings button and turn your Wi-Fi on. Hey, did you download that new app? Did you download that new app? Oh, no, I haven't downloaded it yet. So when we get a new app on our phone, we use the word download. Download is to receive from the internet. Upload is to put it on the internet. Download from the internet. Upload to the internet. Hey, did you download that new app? Ooh, no, not yet. I'm downloading it now. Ugh, I deleted a bunch of apps off my phone. I deleted a bunch of apps off my phone. I don't use this app. I don't use this app. So I removed it from my phone. I deleted a bunch of apps off my phone, meaning I deleted a lot of apps off my phone. Can I say I deleted a bunch of apps? Yes, finished. Oh, I deleted a bunch of apps last week. I deleted a bunch of apps off my phone. We do need this extra little word to connect it to your phone. I deleted them off my phone. I deleted them off my computer. So I removed them. I took them off. I deleted them off. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today at High Level Listening. I hope this was very interesting for you today. Tell me a little bit more. Do you check your phone in the morning? What kind of notifications do you have right now? Let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from our students. So thank you so much for studying with us. I will see you again very soon. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.